Hey guys, keeping it simple this week because time is limited. I found this pretty cool power tower yet again on Andy Math, so let's simplify it. All right, so as I said in other videos even, uh, when we're doing a power tower, when we're simplifying it, we have to go from the top down. So when we look at this power tower, we need to first look at four to the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero we know is one. So we can just erase this and make that equal to one. All right, and we're going from the top down. So we need to look at the next highest exponent, which is the two to the power of one. Anything to the power of one is just itself. Um, so we can make this two. And now we have a pretty interesting one here. We have i to the power of two. Now, i is defined as the square root of negative one, essentially it's defined as that. And if you square both sides of that equation, you get i squared is equal to negative square root of negative one squared. And that squared can cancels out the square root. So you'll just have negative one. So this will actually be negative one. All right, let's continue with three to the power of negative one. There's a very simple exponential rule when you're putting things to the power of a negative number. And that is a to the power of negative b is equal to one over a to the b. And in this case, we can make a equal to three and b equal to one. So if we put three into a, we have one over three to the power of b, and we said b is one, right? So we have one over three to the one. We know that three to the one is just three, so this is gonna equal one over three. And that's how you exponentiate with negative numbers. So this is just going to be one over three. Okay, and finally, we just have eight to the power of a third. Now, this brings us to another rule of exponents. If you have a, oops, a to the power of b over c, that's going to equal the c root of a to the power of b. And it looks weird, but we can actually make it simple. So our a is gonna be eight, right? So we have eight to the power of a third. So that's gonna be our a. c is gonna be three and b is gonna be one. So we're gonna have, in the place of the c we have three. In the place of the a we have eight and then b is 1. Now anything to the power of 1 is just itself, so we can actually get rid of that one, and this is the solution. Now we can simplify this. Um, so this just means that um, x to the power of 3 is equal to 8. x to the power of 3, or 2 to the power of 3, is 8. So our answer here is going to be 2. So this is all going to equal to 2. And that's how you solve this interesting power tower. Pretty simple, as I said. Hopefully I'll start making uh, videos of more challenging puzzles. Um, but as I said, time is limited, so uh, I have to make simple videos for now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you next week.